Hello and welcome to Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. My name is Sierra Artemis and we are so glad that you chose to share your worship experience with us. If you haven't already, please be sure to follow us on all of our social media handles. Hear your announcements for Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. You can stream our worship services live through our website at bwcar.org or through our Facebook page at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Sundays and 7 p.m. on Tuesdays. For previously recorded sermons, you can tune in on Sundays by way of radio. That's 10 a.m. on WWDM, 101.3 FM, and 7 p.m. on WFMV, located on 96.1 FM. Don't forget, you can also check us out on YouTube at Bible Way Church of Atlas Road or BWCAR. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications. The women's ministry at Bible Way Church of Atlas Road would like to thank everyone for prayers, participation, and giving to the ministry during this month. And we encourage you to stay active with our women's ministry and our women's center throughout the year. The military support ministry is asking for the names of active duty service members to send Armed Forces daycare packages. All names, rank, and addresses must be submitted to Deacon and Mother Melton no later than Sunday, May 3rd at mellow7bw at aol.com. For more information, you can call or text 803-206-3011. Registration is open for session two of the Women's Virtual Thursday Night Bible Study classes. Classes are held via Zoom on Thursdays. Registration ends Tuesday, April 16th, and sessions will be held from Thursday, April 18th through Thursday, July 11th at 6 p.m. Classes are led by Associate Pastor Willie Mae Jackson, Senior Elder Collada Porterfield, and Senior Elder Diane Jackson. New member orientation is open and available to anyone wishing to become a part of the Bible Way Church family. These three-week virtual sessions are held via Zoom on Mondays at 7 p.m. For more information or to register, you can visit our website, bwcar.org, or email newmembers at bwcar.org. Our Women's Prayer Line is open each and every Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. Join Senior Elder Shirley Biggs and Elder Teresa Jones as they help you to start your Tuesday mornings off with prayer. Dial 425-436-6362. The access code is 782-443-POUND. The offices of the Bible Way Church of Atlas Road, the Janie R. Jackson Women's Center, and the Midlands Community Development Corporation will be closed from March 29th until April 5th. Corporate prayer is open and available to all. You can join us an hour before our Bible study at 6 p.m. in the Memorial Chapel for an hour of in-person testimony and prayer. Join us for a special Tuesday night service with Resurrection to Pentecost. We'll begin with Evangelist Maxine Kershaw. Join us for in-person service at 7 p.m. The men's ministry is continuing with the study Warrior, equipping men for spiritual victory. All men are invited to join us each Thursday at 7 p.m. Books, Zoom access information, and more are available through the ministry by emailing mministry at bwcar.org. Calling all men, mark your calendars for Saturday, April 6th for a spring breakfast for men and young men. There will be a 7 a.m. prayer in the Memorial Chapel and a breakfast in the Fellowship Hall at 8.30. For more information, contact Elder Jeff Scott at jscott at bwcar.org. You're invited to join Assistant Pastor Randall Mac Jackson as he speaks at Bible Way of Piedmont, Sunday, April 7th at 4 p.m. Bible Way of Piedmont is located at 3111 Piedmont Avenue in Columbia, where Bishop James Mack is the pastor. The Ruth House is hosting a Stuff a Bottle fundraiser campaign that will assist teen girls, teen moms, and teen moms-to-be. Everyone is asked to pick up a baby bottle from the vestibule and stuff it with $5. You can use a $5 bill, $1 bills, coins, and more until the bottle is filled. Return the filled bottle to the vestibule or to the Janie R. Jackson Women's Center. For more information, you can contact the Janie R. Jackson Women's Center by visiting jrjwc.org. All clergy, aspiring ministers, and deacons are invited to join our outreach ministry. That's at the Midlands Health and Rehabilitation Center every second Saturday of each month and to the ProMedica Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation every third Saturday of each month. Both of these outreach initiatives meet at 11 a.m. For more information, you can contact Elder Jeff Scott at jscott at bwcar.org. Join our men's prayer line each and every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. All men are encouraged to dial in for prayer at 508-924-1141. There are many safe, secure, and easy ways to get to Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. 
Online giving is available to both members and guests through Realm at Bible Way Church of Atlas Rose website, bwcar.org. You can choose to give through your bank, checking debit or savings account. You can split payments between multiple funds and set up automated payments. You can give via our mobile giving app by texting BWCAR along with your giving amount to 73256. You can also mail your check to P.O. Box 90309, Columbia, South Carolina, 29290. Please do not mail cash. Hello, everyone, and praise the Lord. Pastor Jackson and I and the Bible Way family would like to welcome you into our worship services. Here at Bible Way, our mission statement is to know God, to love, and to serve. We pray, we hope, and believe that you will enjoy the Word of God for your life as well as the songs of praise. We ask you to come back and visit us in any of all of our services, and may God bless you and your entire family. And welcome to Bible Way. Lord everybody praise the Lord everybody let's stand and give God a praise as we enter into our resurrection to Pentecost service enter into his gates with thanksgiving enter into his courts with praise be thankful unto him for the Lord is good let me say that one more time be thankful unto him for the Lord is good anybody know that God is good we serve a God, so we ought to be thankful. The Bible says, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Just wave at your neighbor, say, so good to see you. Tell him, and I thank God for you. Wave to somebody in the back, somebody in the front, just wave to somebody in the back, say, so good to see you, and I thank God for you. Now give God one more praise, and we thank God. We are in resurrection to Pentecost. On this past Friday, we celebrated Good Friday, and on Sunday, we celebrated resurrection. And now we're in our period from seven weeks from resurrection to Pentecost. Anybody glad that he got up with all power in his hand? But not only did he get up, but he gave us something. Amen. He left us with the gift of the Holy Ghost. And we thank God. So that's what we're leading. We're leading right up to Pentecost. To those of you that are here in our worship center, thank you so much for joining us. To those that are viewing us through our live internet, thank you so much for joining. And those that are viewing, if you need prayer, 
You can dial 1-888-776-1238 or either you can email us at prayer request at bwcar.org. Let's lift our hands in prayer and then after the prayer, Sister Regina is coming along with our praise team and they're going to lead us into our praise and worship segment. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come this evening. First of all, God, as we said earlier, we come and we say thank you, Lord. God, we thank you so much for how you blessed us to be here. God, we thank you for the period that we are entering in from resurrection to Pentecost. God, we thank you that you got up early one Sunday morning. God, but not only did you get up, God, but God, you left us with the gift, and that is the gift of the Holy Spirit. And we thank you for that, God. You left us with power. Amen. Your word declares these works have I done and greater works shall we do. God, because of the Holy Ghost, God, we believe in miracles. Because of the Holy Ghost, we believe in signs, God. We believe in wonders, God. We believe that we can plead the blood of Jesus and the loved ones will be healed. They will be saved, God. We don't need you to go there, God. All we need to do is speak the word and we know it shall be done. Now, God, we ask that you have your way in the midst of this service. We ask that you bless the speaker in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for her. We thank you for her faithfulness. Bless our praise team as they minister through songs. In your name we pray. And everybody give God another praise. Putting your hands together, give God a praise as our praise team shall lead us into our praise and worship service. Hallelujah, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house. Are you excited to be here? Yes. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord one more time? Come on, clap your hands, all you people, and shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Come on, just a few more seconds. Hallelujah. That's right. Come on, continue to charge the atmosphere. Who came with the praise on their lips this, this evening? Who came with the mind to give God unrestricted praise? Hallelujah. We decree and declare that we're going to praise him like it's our last time because it just may be. Hallelujah. We're going to clap our hands and elevate our voices. Song says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you know that he is the everlasting God? Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Can we say something awesome to Jesus right here? Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. That's right. You don't have to stress out about it because the Lord is your light and your salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. Is that your testimony? I will wait on you. And I will trust in you. Yes, I will. I will trust in you. Yeah, I will remain Confident in this, I will see the goodness of the Lord. Go ahead and sing. I will. All right, all the way. Take you to the top. The Lord. The Lord is my. Life. Come on, let's sing. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my, 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 my. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. What? Is that your testimony? I will wait on you. I will trust in you till I die. Be afraid, be afraid. The Lord is mine, my 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 my. Whom shall I be? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will wait on you. I will trust you. Die. 
goodness of the Lord. I will remain. I will remain. How good it is it? I'm gonna see, see the goodness of the Lord. said I hope on you we said I hope on your love we said I hope on no one who is the everlasting God you are the everlasting God you are the we said I hope we said I hope on you hey we said I hope on you Give him a praise. 
I will remain confident. Anybody know you're going to see the goodness in the Lord? I am confident that God has some goodness that I got to see. Before I close my eyes, God said, you're going to see my goodness. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. We're not following goodness and mercy. It's following us. I will see the goodness of the Lord. Thank you, Regina. Thank you, praise team. You may be seated. Amen. What an awesome, awesome experience we've had. Give God a praise for our praise team. Once again, to those of you that are here, thank you so much for joining us. And to those that are viewing, if you need prayer, you can dial 1-888-776-1238. Or either you can email us at prayerrequest at bwcar.org. We honor the spirit of the Lord that's in this place. We give honor to our pastor. Amen. In his absence, Pastor Jackson, Pastor Willie May, give God a praise for her. Amen. We ask that you pray for Pastor Jackson. He is still at the state house. Thank God so much for Pastor Willie May, to all of our clergy, to all of our deacons, to Mother Jackson. Amen. So good to have her in the house. We'll be presenting our speaker a little later on to all of you, my sisters and brothers. I'm glad to be able to be in the house of the Lord on another Tuesday night. Amen. Just a few observations and then we are going to conduct our offertory appeal. We'll present our speaker and then we should have a Samani selection from our praise team. And we're going to give our speaker ample time to share the word of God. Amen. As I said, we're in our Resurrection to Pentecost series, and this is the first night. Thank God so much for Evangelist Maxine Kersall. Amen. And from the Genesis Church of our Lord, Church of God in Christ. Amen. Thank God so much for Genesis. We thank God so much for all of you. We'll be sharing the other speakers that's going to come throughout the seven weeks period we ask that you pay attention to those announcements at this time we're going to ask if you would stand we're going to conduct our offertory appeal our deacons will walk up and down the aisle if you need an offer an envelope if you would just raise your hand they're going to walk up and down the aisle and we're going to do it old school style amen they're going to stand up front and we're going to allow you to walk around and place your offerings in the basket amen walk around and place your offerings in the basket and then our musicians will give us some music doing our offertoria uh, and after the offering I'm going to present our speaker for this evening and then we shall have the word of God to those of you that are viewing if you want to participate in giving you can do so by clicking on the icon that says give on our website it will take you right to our financial rim program and it's an easy prompt to give and you can give and your offerings are very secure with your offerings lifted up in your hand let's pray father we just thank you god we thank you for allowing us to give god a portion of what you gave us back to you god we thank you because we know we're planning this offering on good ground and we thank you for that now god we ask that you bless those that are giving bless those that desire to give and don't have it's in your name we pray and everyone said amen you can remain stand and follow the lead of the ushers our musicians will give us some music and as you come place your offerings in the basket and then after the offering we'll be uh presenting our speaker
Amen. Thank you so much for your giving. It's my honor and privilege just to present, amen, the woman of God that should bring forth the word of God. When we were doing our lineup for our resurrection to Pentecost on last year, our hearts were led to ask Evangelist Kershaw, could she come? But because of some conflict in her schedule, she wasn't able to come. So when I talked with Pastor, he said, of course, let's ask her right away. Amen. And she's here in the house. Amen. She's here in the house. We've been knowing Evangelist Kershaw for many, many years. She and my wife are good friends, and we thank God so much. We thank God, but not only did God call her, but God qualified her. I'm going to say that again. Not only did he call her, but he qualified her. Amen. She is a graduate of South Carolina State University with a bachelor and a master's degree. Amen, somebody. I know all of my state alumni are glad to hear that. But not only that, she has an earned, somebody say earn, an earned doctorate from Walden University. Amen. She is qualified. She is the wife of a good friend of ours, Bishop Keith Kershaw, and we've been knowing them for many years. Evangelist Kershaw worked faithfully for the Church of God in Christ. She and her husband are the founders of Genesis Church of God in Christ right here in Columbia, and she is somebody's singer, and she is somebody's music leader also. She is a retired educator. Amen to all of the educators out there, to Brother BJ. I know he can identify with that. Thank God for her. But not only that, she is a woman that can preach, she will preach, and she shall preach the word of God. Amen. So, by the way, we are in for a blessing from God. Following the sermonic selection from our praise team, the next voice you will hear will be that of none other than Evangelist Maxine Kershaw, the first lady of Genesis Church of God in Christ. Come on, let's stand and give God a praise for this awesome, awesome woman of God. How many of you know God is worthy to be praised? From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he's so worthy to be praised. We're going to sing a familiar song right before the word of God. So just join in with us. We sing it all the time. Praise him, praise him. He's our blessed savior. Come on and bless his name. Here we go. Come on and say praise him, yeah. Praise him. We came tonight to praise him. Praise him, praise him yeah. Praise him. We came to give him glory. Praise him. What's his name? Jesus. Blessed Savior. Blessed Savior. He's so to be praised come on one more time come on and say praise him. praise him he's been so good to us praise him. he woke us up this morning and started praise us on our way him. we came tonight to praise, praise him. him Jesus, Jesus. blessed Savior of the sun from the rising of oh, on to the going down of the same Such a good God. Praise He's so faithful, and that's why we praise Him for dying on the cross for our sins. Oh Jesus, 
Bless his Savior. Oh, he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes, he is to be praised. Now everybody say, from the rising of the sun. From the rising of the sun. Until the going down. To the going down of the same. My God is so worthy. He's worthy. He's so worthy. tonight to give him glory him. we came tonight to give him praise, praise him. oh praise him. praise him what's his name Jesus. bless his savior From the rising of, come on, the sun unto the going, to the going down, down, to the going down of the same. He's worthy, he's worthy, Jesus, Jesus is worthy. Is worthy. Blessed Savior. Blessed Savior. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give God something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Come on. Halle Come on, hallelujah, we give you praise. Hallelujah, we give you praise. Come on, hallelujah, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Come on, we got to spend one third at least giving him glory. At least giving him honor. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus hallelujah hallelujah bless your name father hallelujah hallelujah and we give you praise God and we give you glory we thank you for your presence in this place come on hallelujah we thank you for your presence we thank you that you haven't left us you might say glory to God thank you Lord for being with us tonight thank you Jesus for being in the midst of us tonight and somebody came on a Tuesday night, hallelujah, hoping, am I say, hallelujah, if you got one blessing left, did you leave one blessing, hallelujah, come on somebody say, let it be for me, come on, open your mouth, say, let it be for me, hallelujah, so we thank you, Lord, for being faithful, and for being kind, and for being mighty, for being in this place to stand in the presence of such great people, hallelujah. Expecting you to do what only you can do. Come on, heal, deliver, and set free. You're still God, even in 2024. Hallelujah, you're the same God. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for being an awesome God. In Jesus' name, we pray and we do believe. Come on, clap those sanctified hands if you can. And give God praise. You may be seated as you are able. Hallelujah. We are grateful to be in the house of the Lord tonight. 
We are grateful to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is good. Amen. And I'm glad to be in the land of the living tonight. Should the Lord delay his coming, we will be um, attending a funeral on Monday for a dear sister. Amen. Who was here? Amen. Just last week this time. But we got to go bury her on Monday. Hallelujah. Let me know which side to turn. I want you to get my good side. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I'm grateful to be here tonight in this house with people that I love. Amen. And I admire. Amen. And the person, even in his absence, amen. Our Pastor Daryl. Amen. Jackson. Amen. Will you honor him tonight? Come on, it's okay to take a couple of seconds just to stand and honor the man of God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It's been a long time since we've been together in this occasion. Amen. To share, amen, in ministry this way. But I'm grateful to be here even in his absence, thanking him for the opportunity to come. Amen. It didn't matter who made the call to invite me as the senior pastor. If he says no, I wouldn't be here. So I'm grateful, amen, that he said it was okay for me to be here. And to his lovely wife, the elder, amen, Willie Mae Jackson, amen. Love you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Love her so much. Amen. God bless you. And we honor you tonight and we celebrate you for this opportunity as well. Um, Pastor Jackson, amen, for being here. Elder Jackson, for being here. And to my sister friend, amen, of long time. And my brother, amen, Dr. Randall, amen, Jackson, amen. And the one and only, the glam girl, before they even knew glam was a thing, amen. Elder Lisa, amen. God bless you, my sweetheart. Amen. So good to see you. Amen. And to our mother tonight, Mother Jackson, amen. We love you and we bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We honor you and we bless you tonight. And to all of my friends and sisters and brothers whose um, name I can't call because if I do, I'll eat up my minutes and I don't have but a few minutes and I got something to tell you. Amen. Come on. I said I got something to tell you. Come on. I said I got something to tell you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because God has been good. And um, as sister, I think is her name Constance, the one, the assistant the, that's been Amen. Um, that has been in contact with my assistant, and I got an opportunity to get at least one text in with her. Um, she texted me early in the week to ask me what the subject title was going to be and what the scripture was, and you know how you do it. Amen. And um, I was like, as soon as he tell me, I'll tell you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, sad to say that I'm not one of those evangelists that just go in, in a book, amen, and I have many, many, many messages, amen, amen, and if I wanted to just come and tickle your fancy tonight, it would be easy just to pick one, hallelujah, um, but because we love God enough and God loves you enough, amen, he would give you, amen, a word for your house, amen, and because I'm here, it's for me also, amen. <clears throat> Amen to the membership, amen, that are a part of our ministry, who's here to give support tonight. God bless you. I love you forever with the love of the Lord. So thank you for being here. And to my husband in his absence, my honey bishop, Bishop Kershaw, amen. If he's watching or soon will be, love you. Amen. And thank you for the release to be here tonight. And to our online family, amen. Praise the Lord. We love you as well. Thank you for tuning in. Please feel, feel free to share and like and whatever it is people do on the social platform. I'm not familiar with all of it, but whatever it is y'all do, amen. Tweet, twat, whatever. Um, Amen. Have at it. But we're glad to have you watching us tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. I claim um, not to be um, the best of anything. One thing I can tell you is that I'm saved and I'm sanctified and I'm filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. It used to be Mother Jackson when we said that years ago, we wouldn't have to even hardly preach. Amen. Because the church would be tore up because it was the good thing. Amen. 
It, it wasn't what you tweeted, it was what you said because that's what we are. Amen. So here I stand before you after almost 50 years. Amen. Still saved. Still sanctified. Come on, salvation has not gone out of style. I said salvation has not gone out of style. Hallelujah. I don't care if you rolled on the floor to get him. I don't care if you stood in a line. I said salvation has not gone has not gone out of style. Hallelujah. So I stand before you tonight saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. The old timey way. Amen. I'm going to talk about it a little bit tonight. As I begin to pray and seek the Lord about what we would share with you tonight, amen, and God bless all of you in your respective places. I'm no disrespect to your, um, your positions um, in the church here. I just don't know to call you, and I don't really have a lot of time to do it, but we love you and we respect you in your respective places for your ministry assignments. Amen? amen. My assignment tonight, um, I think there's some glasses in a pocketbook somewhere, amen. Um, I don't know if the color matches what I got on tonight, but anyway, I need to be able to see. Amen. The assignment tonight, amen, is to share with you from um, just the theme, amen. It may not make, thank you, sweet, sweet, uh, may not make sense in the beginning, amen, but if you stay with me, um, I believe that the Lord will bless you real good. How many of you need a blessing? Yeah. Hallelujah. Not that one you've been waiting on. You need it, God to do something like right now. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So um, as I begin to pray and seek the Lord about what we were talking about in lieu of what your theme is, uh, moving toward Pentecost, um, I begin to look at it and I'm like, God, I know sometimes for a ministry when you have to minister from the same topic and the same theme for um, a series, sometimes it could take you um, a minute to gather your thoughts and where you need to pivot because somebody may be coming before you or someone may be coming after you. But this fell in my spirit, and when God first said it to me, um, before I said it, sent it to our sister, um, I didn't have the whole um, understanding of it, Jern Jern, um, but I just sat on it. Amen. Praise the Lord. And as I sat with it, um, I started to come up with something else, um, Pastor, amen, um, and, and it didn't leave me. So when it rests on me, I'm thinking, this is where you want us to be. I want to deal with the word Pentecost tonight, um, but probably from a different um, perspective um, than you've probably dealt with it, amen. From a very familiar scripture, I want to talk to you tonight, amen. Let me see if my scripture showed up on my paper, amen. Out of um, Acts chapter 2, I believe, is where I want to be tonight, amen. Verses 1 through 13, amen. Praise the Lord. Hold on one second, let me see. If not, I'm going to get somebody to read it for me. Um, Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 13, right quick while I find it on this. Let me put these glasses on. That might help. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. If somebody have it, can you read it for me right quick? Amen. Just verse 1. Actually, you can just read verse 1 through 4, and we'll deal with the rest of it. Amen. Anybody got it right quick? Can read it for me? Yes. Yes. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire yes. appeared and settled upon each of them. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. Amen. Thank the Lord for the reading of the word. Amen. I want to talk to you just briefly um, about this concept and literally this word, Pentecost. Somebody say Pentecost. And this is what the Lord gave me to share with you. Now, I'm from um, St. Stephen's, and St. Stephen's is down near Charleston. And down near Charleston, we don't, praise the Praise the Lord, saints. Um, near Charleston, uh, that's my son, musician over there, amen. Amen. Down near Charleston, we don't always say all the these and the thous and the those. We cut stuff short. 
We don't say all, and I'm a speech pathologist, so I understand that the word is short, but I'm trying to make a point that when we talk, we don't always use proper dialect. And it was hard to write what I wanted to write for the, the subject matter because you might not understand it in technical and pure English as it is pronounced as Pentecost. But the Lord began to speak to me and says, talk to them about the e cost in Pentecost. Somebody say the e cost in Pentecost. The assignment tonight, somebody say my assignment, is an open enrollment, if you will. This open enrollment period is for, listen, for former persons who are house owners, homeowners, potentially of the penthouse. I'm going somewhere. But they have turned in their penthouse status to now in 2024, we're in need of not a penthouse, but a repent. So repent dwellers live in the basement. They no longer have penthouse status. Can I teach? So tonight I have to deal with basement dwellers and getting them back to the penthouse. I'm talking about this concept of Pentecost. And our Pentecostal experiences somehow has fallen into the vintage and old-timey category. Can I talk? I think that people spend more time um, these days when it comes to being Pentecostal in acknowledging the high days of old, recognizing the high days of old without ever experiencing Pentecost. In the question form, we would miss this Christian monumental moment of Pentecost if we look at today's time. I wonder how things would be if we totally remove Pentecost celebration from the calendar. What would happen if this moment in biblical history be archived or, or, or put up um, or, or put away because it's no longer relevant? Mm -hmm. Should we take a moment to look at our modern day worship that escapes the real issue of what Pentecost is potentially all about us coming together, coming on one accord to be filled, hallelujah, with the Holy Ghost. What happens if we delete this supernatural encounter from our leadership development? This, it used to be, hallelujah, discipleship, but we, that sounds too safe. So we've coined it under the term of leadership development because we don't want to be offensive. We don't want anybody to know that we are holy rollers. I can't get nobody to talk to tonight. Have you noticed that? Most men of God and most women of God, most evangelists, some prophets and teachers who uh, we recognize as the fivefold ministry, hallelujah, when they speak of Pentecost, it's always in the past. It's always with was and what we used to do. Hallelujah. Why? Because their encounters in this modern day have been copied. It's not original. I need some help tonight. I'm here to tell you tonight that on our way to Pentecost, that Pentecost is not a denomination. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you tonight as a point that it is an inpour, mm -hmm, an outpour encounter with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost works Hallelujah. In our story, verses 1 through 13, hallelujah, externally with the intent of moving from the outside to the inside. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you tonight that the outpour of the Holy Ghost is not just for men. 
Hallelujah. But when you read the story in the Bible, the Bible lets us know that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was also in the upper room. Hallelujah. Along with the disciples. Hallelujah. As well as some other brothers and other sisters. Read your Bible. Come on. We're there. Help me teach tonight. Glory to God. Did you know that pent in its original definition means, listen, shut up. Pent in its natural definition means confined. It means repressed. Mm -hmm. Yet pent in biblical numerology means five. You know that. Mm -hmm. Biblically, the number five symbolizes God's grace and his goodness and his favor toward us. I'm going somewhere. Stick with me. I want to talk to you about the e-cost in the word Pentecost tonight. Hallelujah. I told you that pent in the natural means shut up. Hallelujah. And I'm finding out that this is what the enemy wants to do among the saints of God is that he wants us to do penting, but he doesn't want us to have an e-cost experience. Hallelujah. Somebody say e-cost. See, the e-cost is what adds the emphasis or the actual, hallelujah, um, excitement, the actual, hallelujah, understanding of what happens when the Holy Ghost comes upon us. And more importantly, this in emphasis is individualized, not group. So if you join a Pentecostal church, that's not going to make you Pentecostal. Just because you have the word Pentecost, hallelujah. And when I say you, I'm not talking about you, by the way. I'm talking about us worldwide. Just because Pentecost is on your calendar doesn't mean that you embrace the Pentecostal experience. Hallelujah. For the most part, many of us have become confined. And many of us have shut up our mouth in the house of God. Hallelujah. So, Lady Kershaw, are you talking to me? I'm talking to somebody tonight. Somebody says she's talking about me. Mm -hmm. Pentecost is an individual experience. Hallelujah. An individual experience of grace. And God sent me here to remind the Bible Way family and those of you who are joining us online that it's not too late to have a biblical encounter with God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Now, because people, hallelujah, have shifted away, Mother Jackson, from being filled with the Holy Ghost, we got to do other things in church, hallelujah, to entertain the saints of God, to get them to clap their hand. It really used to be, hallelujah, that when you start thinking about something God had done for you, nobody had to ask you what comes next. You automatically did it. But because we have fallen so far away from pent, hallelujah, our e-cost is really low. And it takes a whole lot to get us now to say hallelujah and thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I got it so bad, hallelujah, that it doesn't take much for me. Hallelujah. The Lord has been dealing with me with, with Elder Lisa that I cannot expect you to praise God for what he's done for me. I can't, I can no longer come and minister the word in people's churches and base how they clap or how they shout based on what God has done for me. Ah! what God has done for me mm -hmm. so when you hear me hollering and you hear me ripping and you hear me running it ain't got nothing to do with you tell somebody my experience is individualized come on clap your hands and say the e-cost of Pentecost I'm here to tell you tonight hallelujah that each one of you must have your own encounter mm -hmm. and for many of us as believers hallelujah we have lost 
our way. Mm -hmm. If the word is not by the right person, if the word is not on the right day of the week, then we don't know what to do with that. Hallelujah. Some came because this is what we do on Tuesday night. This is what we do in the seven weeks. But I'm going to catch the body of Christ when they get to the end of the week. Tonight is not a good night to miss. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, I serve a God that will show up in the garden for one. I said, I serve a God that will meet you in the cool of the day for just one person. Somebody say, it's me, it's me. Come on, it's me, oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs a breakthrough. Somebody needs to be reminded that God is still real. Can I teach my lesson? So tonight, God says that he wanted to give us a little dab. Sit, 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 hallelujah, of the upper room experience. I don't have a lot of time tonight. I'm here to tell you tonight who's listening say I'm listening mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you tonight that some of you hallelujah yes had an initial Pentecostal encounter hallelujah and there are some of you that still need yet another Pentecostal encounter come on if you're listening say I'm listening Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 1, I don't have time. The Holy Spirit is promised by Jesus. Hallelujah to his disciples. He told them, that's why you got to do what Jesus said. When he comes upon you and he tells you to go, you need to go. Mm -hmm. When he tells you to stay, you got to stay. Come on. When he tells you to sit, you got to sit. Listen, how about this? When he tells you to stop talking, you got to be quiet. When he tells you to open your mouth, you got to open your mouth and cry aloud. Hallelujah. So I've come to silence some other voices. Hallelujah. Some of you have been listening to other voices. Hallelujah. But tonight, you have to make a decision if you really want to have a Pentecostal experience. You have to silence every other voice. Mm -hmm. You have to tell them, no, I'm no longer listening to you. I'm not talking about people I'm talking about the spirit hallelujah not the spirit of God I'm talking about the other spirits hallelujah that's been harassing you and won't allow you to enjoy the presence of God some of us have become so intelligent hallelujah that we want to explain God through our mind hallelujah but in this day and time mm -hmm, God is trying to get us back to a place hallelujah where super can take over our natural can I teach hallelujah yes the penthouses as I started to tell you I'm taking my seat in a few minutes hallelujah are usually on the top floor can I teach I feel like teaching right through here it is the highest floor for an individual who's living in the penthouse to be on hallelujah it is sister Lisa elder Lisa the place where living looks good when you're in the penthouse hallelujah you have the best views from up there hallelujah there's a different kind of luxury up there can I teach hallelujah listen when you are in the penthouse you have access to services that are not available or oh, somebody understand what I'm saying you have access hallelujah to services and promises hallelujah and blessings that other people on the other floor don't have access it's taking you too long to get it hallelujah Yes, in this earth, mm -hmm. we can be experiencing a Pentecostal experience, but this is not our official ultimate pit house that's heaven hallelujah I'm here to tell you tonight that Jesus knew that he was getting ready to go hallelujah somebody say Pentecost hallelujah Pentecost hallelujah is a setup situation hallelujah Jesus knew that he was getting ready to go physically hallelujah and so he said hallelujah I got my long dress on normally hallelujah and they don't need no sheet for me hallelujah mother I comes ready to fall hallelujah you don't have to be hunting them sheets and unfolding them for me hallelujah mm -hmm. I comes ready to be in his presence hallelujah but Jesus knew that he was getting ready to leave but he says I love you enough hallelujah that I'm gonna leave you a 
comforter. Hallelujah. I'm going to leave you somebody. Hallelujah. That even in my absence can still be with you. Hallelujah. To this point in ministry, Jesus, hallelujah, is getting ready to set them up. Hallelujah. He says, so go to the upper room. Mm -hmm. He says, go to the penthouse. Hallelujah. This has nothing to do about whether you're worthy. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do about whether you are qualified. He said, just listen to my voice and go to the upper room. Uh -huh. Some people didn't want to go. Hallelujah. But the disciples knew if Jesus said go, they needed to go. Hallelujah. But Mary, the mother of Jesus, got on the boat. Hallelujah. And she decided hallelujah I'm going to hallelujah we gonna end there because in this last day elder Jackson God says I'm pouring out my spirit on all flesh hallelujah I'm pouring out my spirit on old men mm -hmm. I'm pouring out my spirit on young men mm -hmm. I'm pouring out my spirit on handmaidens just as well hallelujah clap your hands and say I need the e-cost in the penthouse hallelujah i'm here to tell you tonight uh, people hallelujah sit 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 for just a few more minutes people hallelujah those that just dwell with the pent and don't deal with the price or the cost of being filled with his power they call him the man upstairs they call him hallelujah the 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 one the big guy hallelujah the big man hallelujah i said they call him all kinds of names but i'm here to tell you today first of all he is not an it hallelujah he is a he come on it's going to take me about two seconds to help you understand i said let's be clear he is gender specific why are you not playing the drums i say he gender specific I don't have time to deal with it tonight, but just in case you were wondering, what if I am, uh-uh, tell somebody he gender specific. Don't have time to deal with it tonight, hallelujah. But he says to remind them, help me teach my lesson, Jern, Jern. He says, remind them that I'm not an it, hallelujah. I am a him and I want to establish relationship with you, the people of God. It's time for us, by the way, to graduate from just doing works and good deeds. Hallelujah. It's time for us to get back to the place that we are so full of the Holy Ghost that we can lay hands on the sick. And they will recover. Hallelujah. But if you keep dwelling between pit high and pit low, you're going to lose your power. Hallelujah. Somebody say it's going to cost you something to be full of the Holy Ghost. I'm here to tell you tonight, hallelujah, for those of you who are wondering, do I really need the Holy Ghost? Do I really need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Do I really need an upper room experience? Do I need him to come into my life and touch me until he changed my language? Hallelujah. He not only wants to give you the initial sign, but he want to give you the rest of them too. Hallelujah. I know the initial, you can teach this when you teach your Bible study. I know the initial sign is talking in tongues and changing your language. But what about the mother song, the mother signs like long suffering? And love your neighbor. Well, what about that? What about them signs about peace and mercy and joy? Hallelujah. Some of us ain't had joy since last Christmas. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm here to tell you tonight that God says we need to the Holy Ghost. I told you that pit in the natural sit, sit, sit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not concerned that you won't get to get up again. Hallelujah. This word bless me. Hallelujah. Yes, pent is a powerful word. Hallelujah. You heard it in the earth, the Pentagon. Hallelujah. The Pentagon is a structure, P-E-N-T-A, not P-E-N-T. 
E, hallelujah. The Pentagon, hallelujah, still has five porches. I found that interesting that Pentecost is the number five. Hallelujah. Why, Lady Kershaw, do you want to bring up, hallelujah, the Pentagon? Because the Pentagon houses, I was asking you a question. Ain't nobody forgot where they at. Hallelujah. The question was, do we really need the Holy Ghost? This go with the answer. Somebody said she answering the question. The Pentagon has five porches hallelujah but we don't always refer to the pentagon as the pentagon we refer to it as hallelujah the department of defense the department of defense provides military forces needed to catch you when you're going through a war. Do you really need the Holy Ghost? No, you need a system, hallelujah, that will defend you, hallelujah, that will lift up a standard against any enemy that tries to come upon you. Hallelujah. I said the Department of Defense, hallelujah, will protect you just like the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Will provide extra security when an enemy wants to come disguised looking one way. It is the work of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, that will protect you from an unseen enemy. Mm -hmm. Why are you telling us all of this, Lady Kershaw? I'm telling you this because, hallelujah, our defense system has gotten weak over the years. And now we are doing anything except, hallelujah, the e-cost, hallelujah. We are trusting that the praise and worship team will sing good enough to make me wave my hand we are trusting that the preacher of the evening or the evangelist or the pastor of the evening will preach a message so good that I will want to raise my hand mm -hmm. we are hoping hallelujah that the right group would come through the church hallelujah and we are going to have a good time because such and such is here God says to remind the people of God that an e-cost experience hallelujah is an individual experience in other words hallelujah heaven is only recording how many times you clap I said heaven is only recording how many times you dance all I know is that when we praise it builds a house for him I said, when we praise, it opens an opportunity to come into the upper room. Hallelujah. All I know is that when we praise, earthquake starts to shake it. And things that have kept you locked up will become open before you cannot teach. I'm here to tell you tonight, those of you that have been fighting, tonight God says, if you trust me enough to allow the Holy Ghost to move on your heart tonight I will reward you openly I will reward you openly say up the Lord God he says tell my daughters tell my sons he says everything that the canker worm has eaten I'm going to give it back to you Mother Jackson keep on living because God has heard your prayer there will come a day Hallelujah, where we just enter into the gates with thanksgiving. I'm talking about, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's taking you too long. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, and while you are thanking me, before you can get to the you in the word, thank you. I'm going to keep doing other things for you. I'm going to keep open the doors because I want to live on the inside of you. Somebody wave your hand and say, it's me. It's me, oh Lord. Standing. I said standing in the need of prayer. I'm here to tell you tonight that the Holy Ghost is returning to the church to give us boldness. 
I said the Holy Ghost is returning to the church to give us power to pray. I said the Holy Ghost is returning to the body so that we can get into his presence quicker. Hallelujah. It won't take a whole long time. I know we got catchphrases. You know, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Tell somebody that's old. Seem like I said, tell somebody that's old. It ought to be, hallelujah, that this praise ought to match today. Hallelujah. I'm talking about giving him a praise. Hallelujah for waking you up this morning. That ain't got nothing to do with last week. is chasing you so in this upper room tonight we gotta create it God says I want to bless it up 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 I want manifestation on a Tuesday night I want glory come on on a Tuesday night that when I wave my hand demons get to running when I open my mouth, demons get to shaking. You should have killed me last night and not let me get the Bible away. Because tonight, the anointing of the Lord. Come on, lift your hands in the atmosphere. Rest on your road tonight. Come on, you got it? Do you understand? I ain't got no whole lot of time. Run, daughter. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I got to put a pin right here. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. If you're sure. I know it's a deodorant commercial. Raise your hand. How I many you know you need a refilling? You need a filling. You need a refill. Raise your hand if you're sure. So the word is in this house tonight. Somebody say, It's me, Lord. Hallelujah. I come to pay my dues. That's good, daughter. I come to pay my dues tonight, Father. Hallelujah. That we will silence every other voice. That you will move from the outside of me to the inside of me. Come on, hands raised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to ask him. Hallelujah. If I've done anything, come on. If I've said anything that slows down the move of the Holy Ghost. When you're in the middle of a trying situation, you can't work up to the praise. You got to just be able to speak and then heaven moves. Hallelujah. When you ask God to move. Hallelujah. So the word of God comes to this house tonight. Hallelujah. Because some of us have been leaking power. Some of us have lost our power. Come on. Come on. Hands up. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop, Elder. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said some of us have lost power. Hallelujah. We don't want to pay the price to be holy and to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Being filled don't look like more than time. It used to be that we could just call on his name and that was enough. But because, hallelujah. Ishomase, come. Daughter, come here. You, the one that helped me. Yes. Hallelujah tonight. Come up here for, stand right there for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, stay right there. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost says, hallelujah, that we've lost some things. I don't have time. Elder Jackson, hallelujah. I need my three nights to go through this word right here tonight. Hallelujah. The best I can do is invite us to the upper room tonight. Hallelujah. The best I can do, hallelujah, because we've created, hallelujah, openings for the enemy to have access. Hallelujah. I was sharing with the saints, I was at a service about a week ago, and I said to the saints, I know your hands are up, hallelujah. I like to watch shows, and sometimes I be watching these crime shows, Elder Jackson, hallelujah. 
And when they go to inspect Omar Sheko say, when they go to inspect the crime scene, Jern Jern, hallelujah, they look around and they look to see if anything has been disturbed. They look around to see if anything is out of place. Don't nobody know what I'm talking about? They look around to see if they see footprints. They look around to see if they see blood splatter. They look around the church to see how many seats are empty. Hallelujah. And then they go back to surmise the crime scene, Elder Jackson. Hallelujah. And this is the conclusion they come to initially. They said it didn't look like, listen, there was a break in. Because the point is, if somebody came in and took us out of the upper room and they didn't break in, then it was a let in. I said if they didn't, if the enemy didn't break in, you let him in. Hallelujah, glory to God. So he sent me here to tell you tonight, hallelujah, that we've lost some things. Not you, this isn't for you. I just need you to be there for a minute. Hallelujah. He says we've lost some things. We've lost some power. Hallelujah. The word, I heard you pray it. You prayed it. Both of you prayed it in separate spaces. When his word go out, it's not going to return void. Come on, somebody say, it's me, Lord. Hallelujah. God says to tell this house tonight, hallelujah, some of us have lost some things. Hallelujah. Our shadows ain't even saved no more. Our shadows can't tell the difference between a Turk, hallelujah, hallelujah, and a dance anymore. We can't tell the difference between the drum beat, Hallelujah, because there's no distinction in the sound. Hallelujah, the organ. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. It used to be, hallelujah, Mother Jackson, we could play a tamarind to kill a witch. You don't know this, but witches don't like tamarinds. I say witches don't like tamarinds. Hallelujah. It used to be we would play the tamarinds and witches. Hallelujah. Would make their way to the door or either come halfway to church. They're not coming to this altar. Hallelujah. It's not in their policy to do so. But God sent me here tonight to tell us that we got to recover some things that we have lost. Hallelujah. It used to be when you open your mouth and preach and declare the word of God, souls would get saved. Now we got to beg and we got to plead and we got to have dinners to get them to come to church. It used to be that our churches were known that if you go to that church over there and you smoking, you're not going to leave there smoking. Where's that testimony? When I was young, they used to call it funny acting. If you were funny acting and they brought you to the holiness church, the only thing funny going to be that the devil has lost his power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because God is still able to heal, to deliver, and to set free. So what is the point, Lady Kershaw? My time is up. Hallelujah. The point is, I'm standing in the need for an upper room experience. Not with just the initial tongue. Hallelujah. But God, I need some other feelings tonight. Come on. I need to be filled. I need a refilling. We become embarrassed to come to the altar. Hallelujah. It's been a place just for sinners because you feel shame. Hallelujah. But God says, I want to heal you. I hear God said, I want to put you back together again. You don't want to be the biggest church because of numbers. You want to be the biggest church not because your pastor is a senator. You want to be the biggest church because over here, hallelujah. Now Genesis does have a record. You come over there with cancer, it ain't going to stay with you too long. We got people over ah! We got people over there that's had cancer 
for 28 years. Hallelujah. They didn't call the family in. Hallelujah. Brain cancer and spread. Hallelujah. All over their body. She not here tonight. I don't think. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But totally healed. No cancer. Come on. That's the upper room experience. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I used to have a tumor on the brain. It's when I was in the apostolic church. The devil know better than to try me now. Hallelujah. It's funny about Jesus kind of healing. It don't come back. Hallelujah. Doctor say come. Hallelujah. So we can see how fast it's growing. They wanted to measure it and see how fast it was growing. I'm talking about an upper room encounter. Only to discover that to go to the hospital after all the symptoms are there to find out that I got one set of x-rays with a tumor and another set with no tumor. Because when you come into the upper room, the cost of being in his presence means that anything that's not like him gotta leave. Come on, hands lifted. I know you're tired. Hallelujah. So God says, I've come to restore some things that the canker worm has eaten. And this is the cost that we have. Hallelujah. You'll never be the same again. Hallelujah. That's right. You can come to the altar if you want. Hallelujah. I've come, hallelujah, to heal hearts that are broken. Hallelujah. You'll never be the same again. Daughter, while they're coming, hallelujah. I want to pray for you, hallelujah. Hashem, I say. Thank you, Jesus. Because there are some questions that you have to get answered in the next 14 days. Hallelujah. And God says to tell you that his answer concerning your matter will be yes. In the next 14 days, I didn't even get to talk to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, but the answer to your question is going to be yes. I will not deny you. Hallelujah. This has nothing to do with how good you've been. It has to do with being one of the two that's connected to me tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because somebody has to have proof. Hallelujah. That God is a healer. It's been a long time since you felt the presence of the Lord. Pastor, can I lay my hands on the way, Pastor? Hallelujah, way Pastor Jackson go. Hallelujah. Thank can I lay my hands on her? Hallelujah. He my soko shema. Say my siko. He my say. Don't let her fall. You He shall tell me. Seko shande. He baba seko shande baba ba se. He told ba sheto. My Sunday be your sakamashe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the power of the Lord. I have never forgotten you. When Jesus I have never forgotten you. I have never forgotten you. Lord says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I cannot pray and prophesy to every one of you tonight. Normal, my direction was not to come to the altar. It's just not to come up here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But if we need your help up here, please feel free to come and help these women of God. Hallelujah. God says, I've never forgotten you. I have never forgotten you. You may have never been called on. You may have never been called. Lift your hands. I don't have time tonight. He shall not say. He shall not say. Hallelujah. And even that scare that you got from the doctor. Ishama. God says I'm going to settle that too. In the name of Jesus. So Father we thank you. Somebody with your hand up say thank you Lord. For the e-cost experience. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, we thank you. 
and we give your name praise. Come on, those of you with your hands up. Come on, say it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. So God said, I've never forgotten you. Hallelujah. I will never leave you nor forsake you in Jesus' name. So Father, we thank you for these daughters, Imase, that's on this altar to Imase tonight. That's just been waiting. Come on, if you need to be filled tonight, say, God, fill me tonight. Come on, say, I need a refilling tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, say, fill me, Lord. Come on, say, fill me, Lord. Come on, say, fill me, Lord. I'm in this upper room tonight because I need you to fill me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Push my sickle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So forgiveness rests over your life tonight. Sometimes we've done things that the enemy has convinced us that they are unforgivable. That there is no coming back from this. Hallelujah. The only person looking at you is me. He showed my sick old Sunday. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. But God says, I'm going to give you a U-turn tonight. I'm going to give you an opportunity to make a U-turn. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All of your sins are cast into the sea. He shut up. I said, come on. You got a right to praise him. Come on, somebody. You got a right to praise him. You got a right to praise him. So I want to thank you, Lord. I want to say thank you, Lord. I want to say thank you, Lord. Come on, if you know you got a right to praise him. Thank you. He shall my say. I thank you for those that are at the altar tonight. He shall my sickle. It should have been me. Outdoors. No food, he must say. No clothes. He must say so. In the name of Jesus. Let the power out. The Holy Ghost Let the power of The Holy Ghost I'm almost done The power of Father we thank you You feel the power of the Lord It's been a long time We don't want to just go through the motion. We want an experience. 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 So tell me I say 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. This is the first yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. of the seven weeks. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My time is up. But I wish somebody so would. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. And we give you praise. Before we go back to our seat, hallelujah. Anybody up here not saved? Because you can't get to the upper room if you're not saved. Anybody not saved? Anybody up here backslidden? Hallelujah. My, 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 Thank you, Jesus. My, 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 my. So the most of us needs to be filled or refilled. We in need of another touch. We need the return of the power of the Lord. He must say. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you. And we give you praise. Yes, Lord. Thank you for healing my feet. That my dance will return. That when the man servant or the woman servant stand up and send forth the word that my feet would become light. That I will show sign that I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Come on. That I will show sign that I'm full of the Holy Ghost. That I will show sign See, tell somebody I just gave God the E cost for living in the penthouse.
Somebody give them a praise. Somebody say, this is the e calls. This is the e calls from the basement to the penthouse. <laughs> give God a praise. Give him a praise. He bet. Yeah. While you're praising him, let's thank God for evangelist Maxine Kershaw. What an awesome, awesome word. While the musicians are still playing, I need everybody to get $7 and come lay it at the altar. Amen. Everybody just get $7. We're in our seven-week resurrection to Pentecost. This is the first of the seven-week, and we want to bless God with $7. Amen. I'm going to ask my wife to get mine for me and just come lay it at the altar. Anybody enjoyed the word of God? What an awesome word. Awesome word from God. Amen. Come on, musicians. We can keep playing the music. Yeah. Our deacons are going to come up front. Amen. As you give. If you want to text you can text BWCAR to 73256 or either you can go on the rim and give the $7 to those of you that are viewing us through our live internet. If you want to give online, please feel free to do that. Let's stand. Amen. Let's give God a praise for Evangelist Maxine Kershaw. What an awesome awesome word from god amen you can still come everyone stand we're getting ready to go amen we thank god for the anointing that he has placed on evangelist kershaw's life amen thank god so much for the awesome word our pastor has a very special sermon he's preaching amen victory over life circumstances over life circumstances he's going to do another sermon on sunday at eight come out and then and join us for the word of god with uplifted hands so let's look to god and even after the prayer you can come and lay your offering at the altar father we just thank you god we thank you for the e cost god we thank you for pentecost amen god we thank you god many of us will have been in the basement god but your word declares we just took the express elevator to the penthouse and we thank you for that god god we thank you for the holy ghost for pentecost we thank you for miracles god we thank you for signs we thank you for wonders in the name of jesus now god dismiss us from this place never from your presence let us find peace as we return to our destinations. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen, amen, and amen. Thank you to Genesis Church of God in Christ. Thank you so much for joining us in this service. We'd like to thank everyone for joining us for our services today. If you desire prayer, please call 1-888-776-1238. If you feel as if this service was a blessing to you or if you were moved by the message in any way, please share with your family and friends. Additional announcements and for more information, be sure to visit our website, bwcar.org.